Hey Sterling, I'm in a monogamous marriage with a great girl that I'm attracted to. What tips do you have for me to maintain our great sex life over the long haul? Thank you, brother. I am stoked to hear back from you. Okay, so spontaneity and uh, unpredictability is a foundation for our good long-term sex life, um, like in a marriage or in a long-term relationship. It's when sex becomes monotonous, when sex becomes predictable, uh, samey, when it becomes boring, when it becomes routine and scheduled. That's when the sex life dies in a marriage or a long-term relationship. So do the opposite of all that. Keep it spontaneous. Don't schedule it. Don't make it predictable. Mix things up. Try new things. Try out different, like, fun, kinky stuff together. Dirty talk is a great way of spicing things up all the time because you can can't, you can still be doing the same stuff, but you can be saying different things in her in her ear every every now and then. Um, and by the way, when you when you when you when I say try new things and new kinky stuff and, and and you know try new dirty talk and things like that, I don't mean every single time because then you'll run out of things to do really quickly. I mean every every week, every other week, every month. Throw it, try out something new. Try out something new. And if it if you prefer it, if you guys like it, then add it. Then mix up your routine and, and adjust your routine. Adjust the way you you guys fuck now. So you're constantly adding in new things, trying out new things, adding in unpredictability. Uh, throwing in fantasies in her, in, her, in her ear through dirty talk and keeping that spark there. That's also what the dirty talk does too, is keeps that spark there in her. Cause it's really it's really about ma- kind of maintaining her lust for you uh, more than anything else. Because once once you become unpredictable and boring and stuff, the sex will su- if, if the sex dies off from a if the sex dies off from let's say a lack of interest from the guy. Typically, that's just a hormonal. Typically, that's a testosterone thing. That's easy to fix. But if this, if the sexual desire dies off from her side, it's due to a lack of desire and attraction, uh, which is you can fix it, but it's it's a bigger issue, and that tends to come down to predictability. So, be unpredictable. Be spontaneous in your passion with your woman. So, what does that mean? That could mean. You, you spontaneously take her, bend her over the kitchen counter when she's like doing dishes or making food or something. Like you come up behind her, you kiss her on the, kiss her on the neck, you whisper in her ear, you, t- you touch her on the breast, you play with her pussy a little bit, you flip her skirt up and you bend her over there. Like spontaneous, lust, passion in the moment. You can't help yourself. The animal in you just has to come out around this woman. Things like that. Uh, and one of my favorite things to do is the... Uh, Use a remote control vibrator. A Wii Vibe is a very fun fun toy you can you can play around with, and this is very very fun for date nights or whatever, going out for uh, for drinks or going out to restaurants and things. Having her put the Wii Vibe in her, and you have the control on your phone. And whenever a waitress come not a waiter but a waitress comes over to uh, to serve you or talk to you or whatever, you you turn the Wii Vibe on and make her keep a straight face while she's ordering drinks or ordering food or something or trying to converse with the waitress. Very very fun, uh, but don't do it every time. Keep that unpredictable. When you do that, like that that act is unpredictable, but do it unpredictably. So you don't do it every day. You don't do it every date. You don't do it all the time. You do it spontaneously. So like you do it the first time and then the second two, the next two, three, two or three times you take it to a restaurant, you don't do it. And then you bring it back again. You do it spontaneously because it keeps its power when it's done spontaneously. If you do it all the time, it loses its magic. So you, you take you find these really fun magical games and toys for the two of you to play together. And you throw them in like a spice every now and then. And that's how you can keep that spontaneity going. So good luck to you, my friend. Uh, May you have a long and happy and fruitful marriage.